Hello everybody and welcome to our Virtual Mart for Joomla 3 video tutorial. And today in this video I'm gonna show you uh, one of the important uh, steps in uh, setting up your online store. It's I will show you how to set up payment methods. And in order to do this um, from con Virtual Mart control panel page um, you need to choose shop and um, then in drop down menu choose click payment methods link um, and, and also another way to do it it's on the top uh, horizontal menu you, under the virtual mart um, uh, there is a drop down menu and over there you can also choose the payment methods so um, in uh, so next steps uh, you need to click new and um, for my store I'm gonna I'm gonna set up um, two methods, and both of them it's gonna be through different type of uh, methods, uh, and um, I'm gonna use uh, PayPal. So first, I'm gonna set up a standard uh, PayPal uh, method. So let's call it PayPal standard and uh, make sure you choose publish and um, drop payment message drop down menu uh, make sure you choose uh, PayPal so let's save it in order to to be able to go to configuration tab and start setting up so over here uh, for the PayPal products um, I'm gonna choose first uh, standard, so I'm gonna leave it by default and shop make sure shop environment is uh, select production um, and merchant email. I'm gonna um, type my email um, that I have uh, set up already with the PayPal uh, account. So um, and you guys also in order to to do this uh, first you need to set up a uh, PayPal account and uh, or either a uh, personal or uh, uh, business account so um, over there there is uh, there is a lot of different option for for your uh, payment uh, for your PayPal payment but uh, most of them I mean, uh, most of them we can uh, leave by default. Um, so over here you can uh, discount and fees. You can type the d fee that you're gonna charge customer per transaction or uh, percentage from total amount. If you like, uh, you can. Um, uh, what else? You can limit the country from which you want want to accept um, payment and so over here you can even choose the logo image if it's empty uh, even border color so we can choose for example blue um, so back so let's save it and close and so here we are now we have um, PayPal standard uh, option method payment method so I'm gonna add another one and I'm gonna show you how to um, it's kinda tricky a little bit so um, it's gonna be uh, PayPal Express and let's choose publish and select again PayPal so it's the same setup uh, like previous <clears throat> so let's save and let's go to configuration page oh, um, tab and um, over here we're gonna choose Express Checkout and you see uh, after when you choose now we have this uh, couple extra um, fields that we need to 
filled up and it's already don't ask uh, don't ask asking for our email so it's asking for our API username password to signature and uh, in order to get this um, um, in order to get this uh, API <coughs> we need to go to PayPal account and um, I'll show you from the your main uh, main home page yeah uh, you can click this business profile and go to profile and settings and on the left menu you can choose uh, my selling tools and in my selling tools and then you can uh, you need to go uh, where's the API access uh, you need to go to this page by clicking update link and and API access you need to click this uh, you API signature and uh, uh, this is uh, how it's gonna look and uh, first in original setup you have to actually um, ask for for API so and but since I already set it up uh, this so uh, now you have this username and password and signature so you just click here and it's gonna show you so we can copy and paste so now I finished um, copying and pasting password and signature so we here we also need to provide uh, your merchant email and um, what else um, you can let uh, here's another setting so you let buyers override their PayPal addresses if they have PayPal and um you can choose yes prompt for address and require one for example uh, if it's essential um so so it's pretty much the same as the previous method so over here we're gonna choose red pink no red red color so here we go so let's save and close number password <clears throat> so we here so now as you can see mm, uh, here we have some um, options so I expect max amount required for the PayPal Express so let's go again back Max amount and amount is, for example, hundred. So let's again save and close. Here we go. So now let's go back uh, to our front uh, front store and we'll see. Let's refresh in the cart. And refresh this page. So now over here we should see two options. Here we go. Now we see two options, and um, we can choose, uh, for example, PayPal Express. So save it and so it's gonna redirect us to the PayPal. Um, so and over here you can, um, if customer has a PayPal account. He can uh, log in with the PayPal account and um, pay for your for your product from his PayPal account. Uh, so now we returned back to our cart, and so let's let's try the PayPal standard and click Save button.
So, uh, it's uh, asking to confirm purchase. So, once again, it's going to redirect to PayPal page. And in our this PayPal page, uh, payment page, uh, once again, <coughs> excuse me, once again, you can, um, your customer can either pay with a PayPal account by logging it, logging to the uh, to his account uh, or he can use credit or debit card um, to pay so he needs to click this link down there and he needs to provide all information here um, for debit card or gift card and he also can uh, provide his address right there and as you can see Here's a border that we changed earlier, so it's a blue border kind of uh, with a gradient. So um, and also can he can a customer can pay with a credit card or again apply for the PayPal credit. Uh, so so here we go. Now uh, as you can see, it was um, maximum 15 minutes to set up. Um, payment methods uh, for your online store through PayPal and now we have a uh, uh, payment method available available for customers so here you go thank you for watching this video bye